Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how to create avatars, text, and graphic effects using masking. Let's first create an avatar. I will need two objects, a picture of a person and ellipse. Let's change the size of the ellipse and position it correctly. To create a mask, we must put the ellipse underneath the picture. To change the arrangements of the layer, we need to select it and use a contextual menu or left or right bracket key on the keyboard. After that, select two layers and click Use as a mask. Once we create our mask, we can modify its properties. For example, let's select a picture and change its position. A mask is a regular object that we can move around and use in our design like any other visual asset. Next, we will create a text with this red background. Let's type the text phrase and put it underneath the picture. Select both layers and click Use as a mask. The great thing is we can modify not only the position of the picture but also text properties after we create our mask. For example, we can change the font and see how our text will look like with different font families. Lastly, let me show how to create a graphic effect. I will create three graphic objects – an ellipse, a rectangle and triangle. And I will create a triangle from the rectangle. Double-click the object so you will see the blue lines. Click the white element at the corner and drag it to the center. Now we need to group our graphic objects together. Select all three objects and click Group Selection. Then we need to put our group underneath the picture. Select both layers and click Use as a mask. Now we have three masks that we can use in our design. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.